Hi, everyone. Today is Sunday. Uh, I think this is the 13th day, and it was the weekend the last two days here. Didn't get much done at all, but I got enough done. Uh, that last uh, Friday or whatever, I got some stuff done. So I'm just going to show you here what I got. Uh, this is video 7 of my power supply build, and uh, I'm just going to show you what I've been doing. Uh, I got, I did get a little bit of time this weekend to draw some holes in my box, and I routed all the edges nice and made it all look uh, slick. Uh, the Friday I got all the switches and all the stuff in. It looks really cool. So <sighs> tired again. Here we go. Uh, let's go back here. So there you go. There's the front panel. Looks freaking awesome, if you ask me. Uh, yeah. So uh, this is for the. Um, uh, Man, I can't think today, people. Sorry. Okay, this is for the uh, voltage, the main, the main voltage, and this is for the uh, fine tune. Uh, this is one here, two here, three here, and four here. There's four individual power supplies in here, and I can hook them together, uh, like I've been explaining. Uh, here's my my voltage meter I'll be having. I'll be able to switch it and put it on millivolts or uh, or higher. Uh, same thing with my amperage, amperage. I can go real low or real high. Um, either way. And then uh, this knob's for uh, my voltages, uh, where I'm taking my voltages from. Um, these switches here are for the signals. So if I flip this one, it ties these two together. And if I flip this one, it ties these three together. And I flip this one, and it ties all four of them together. Um, or I can, you know, flip like this one up and... Uh, that's it, and this knob is going to control this one and this one um, as far as the voltage output. So if I want one knob and four separate outputs, but I want them all to change the same voltage at the same time, I can I can do that. Uh, these are for connecting power sources together. So uh, these two would be connected together internally when I flip this switch. Um, and the same thing with these two when I flip this switch, and these two when I flip this switch, and I can connect all of them together or just these and these, uh, that's to parallel them, if I want to series them, I'm sorry, that's the series them, series, series, I can't talk, to series, series, uh, daisy chain, how about that, to daisy chain them, that's what this is for, if I wanted to parallel them, so I got these two and these two for more current output, that's, that's, I have to do that externally, I did, I just, I've got so much built into this already that I just did not want to try that, uh, which is fine. But uh, it's just for more amperage is all it would be. If I want to get over 10 for each output, I can hook up these two and get 20, these three and get 30, and these all these four and get 40 amps. Uh, but that's only 0 to 24 volts. Uh, or I can just do two and get 20 amps from 0 to 50 volts. Um, you know, it just depends on what I want to do. Uh, here is a big ginormous red incandescent light bulb. Uh, I know, why did I do that when I got all these fancy little LEDs here and here and here? I just thought it would be fun. Uh, that's it. Here's the power switch. And uh, I'll show you the back of this panel. It's actually pretty crazy. There you go. That's, uh, see if I can get this thing to focus. So there's the back. Look at that one. There's even even contacts on the top side here where I'm going to hook up these LEDs. You can see them up there in the top. Pretty cool stuff. These I'm going to hook up. Uh, this got 9 volt. I'm just going to get a 9 volt power source. The power supplies I got in this box do not have a 9 volt out. So I'm going to... I was going to put a regulator on one, but I might just find something else. I, I don't know yet. Got all my potentiometers here. And uh, all that good stuff. So... Uh, I'm going to keep going here with this box. Set this over here. Watch out, kitty. Alright. That's some good stuff right there, though. Thing looks awesome. I think, anyway. Alright. Um, this box. Drill holes in this box. Somebody asked me how I'm going to regulate this. Um, I'll turn this around. Oh, sorry, Snickers. You got to move, sweetheart. I'm going to step on you. Alright. Back here, I've got this routered. See, I can router the edges where the fan's at, so it looks all pretty. Uh, I routed all the edges all the way around, including the front, so it makes it look a, a lot better. Um, real quick, I'm going to show you what I was going to do with how to work on this, or how I'm going to open it to make it to work on it. This panel is going to be mounted to this piece, and this piece 
is going to flip open. I'm going to unscrew the right screws. This is going to flip open like this. Okay, so this panel is actually going to be attached here. All right. It's going to be attached here, and it's going to be open here so I can get to everything I need to here, and I can get to everything I need to back here. Um, now I'm going to set this back over here. There we go. So these steer amps that I got are going to be mounted right here, and they've got shims under them so that these holes that I put in here, all these holes are going to have air flowing through here, and it'll pass air behind this, you know, this crack right there and that's gonna allow these to stay cool I've also got these mounted and you can see the little bit of airspace in there and then um, let's see this is gonna be mounted right here with these brackets that I don't have on there yet didn't get that far but uh, again I got holes down here and uh, that's to allow air to circulate between these devices and uh, cool them in case they do get hot, and I know they will. Uh, this fan um, also has a uh, basically a little control board with a, a thermometer. Basically, it's a temperature sensor. And what I'm going to do is find somewhere on here that gets the hottest, and I'm going to basically get some epoxy and glue this on here. And uh, what what this will do is, as as this box gets hot, this fan will speed up, and more air will be pulled through. So it's a self-cooling box. I was going to put a knob on the front, but that's just too much. I wanted to try to make it automatic. So it will be automatically cooling. You can see I have a gap space behind here too to keep things cool. Um, my circuit will stay like this so that when I have my main board here, uh, I can wire it up and run all the wires down here across the back, and then I can just stick them where they need to go, and then I can solder them on the back. So I have kind of a little good deal there. Um, all these wires, um, you know, everything's going to come around all nice and it's just going to take a while to get this done. Uh, maybe not a while, but it's just going to be a lot of work. Um, but there you go. So that's, well, Snickers, you can't stand under me. Okay? Don't stand under me. I'll step on you. I don't want to step on you, but I might. Watch it. Watch it. Anyway, so uh, there you go. Um, like I said, I did router all these edges and everything's all nice. Uh, these power supplies are actually mounted already with these uh, screws in the bottom and the washers to shim it up for the air. Uh, I don't really have much right now. That's it. Um, I'm out of breath. I need to go take a nap. Alright, this is Russ. I, I believe this is day 13, I, I think, and I believe it is video 7. Uh, everybody that leaves me comments and stuff, thank you. I haven't had time to get back with you. Um, there's been lots of stuff going on around my my place, and uh, it's been crazy. So thanks for all the re, re um, all the all the uh, I need a nap. All the messages, comments. I'll I'll get back with you guys on some stuff. Some of you had questions. Uh, I will get back with you. Uh, that's it. So uh, this is Russ. Have a good uh, have a good week, and uh, I'll give another update probably not tomorrow night, but Tuesday night, because I'm probably going to try to wire everything I can, uh, and hopefully get this thing done real soon. See you.